All just like right. watching the sound feedback from me like doing weird shit. <laughs> just slapping my my fingers together right now and watching the mic go up. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Starting uh, in three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome back to the four pixels. I'm Pixel Moon and this is Pixel Coco and we are returning to Seiken Densetsu 3 for more gremlin shenanigans. Hello. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, I have to remember to run this time though. I just oh God, I think I'm I very switch, I switched my way. I switched my A and B. What? <laughs> oh, oops. Oh wow. Well. Uh, the uh I'm really charmed the way uh the your girlfriend just follows you. Like I don't know why. It's like I know we said it to be like that, but it's still very cute. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, that we got the thing from the old lady. One ray way rate to Jad is 90 Luke per passenger. Are you coming along? Yes. We, we have plenty of money, I think. I wonder if they do that. Oh god, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> it's, it's fine, it's just it's just the boat about to explode. Uh, they, they, they shoved the, the boat in a cannon. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't put it past this game at this point. Like... Or if the boat was using cannons on the back and shooting into the water to propel itself forward. <laughs> yes. That's a new propulsion system sponsored by Bon Voyage. I hate him very much. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like his naming convention and I don't like his family's naming convention in general. I just don't like him. He is a small clown man and it freaks me out. Clowns are not my forte. Hmm. Oh, I can't Coco. wait. I can't wait till you get to a certain part in Ace Attorney. It's so I funny because see the scared clown man again. <laughs> yeah. Hit the wrong one. Did I show you? Wait, did I show you that clip or tell you about it? You told you told me. Okay, so he appeared very briefly in the uh, credits portion of the one we did with Banks. So like the, I saw him and I was like, no. It actually, he actually appeared like during the case when like Phoenix had like a nervous breakdown flashback and he just flashed on the screen for a moment. Oh, no, I don't like that though. <laughs> and I, you were like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't. Clowns are not good. And that's the funniest fucking thing that somebody said about. So I think it was, this was when ARMS came out because they have a clown girl in ARMS. And. Uh, the developer found out that, uh, that oh, character yeah. did not test well in America because of the clown feelings here. <laughs> yeah, I it's think I know what fault. you're talking about. Why does, why does fucking Stephen King have to make it? Like, clowns have never, like, sat well with me, but as a kid I wasn't, like, fucking terrified. So, like, as an adult and seeing more things, I didn't watch it, uh, until, like, a certain point in life, but... I saw some of it and it was like, mm mm. Thank you for the spears. Ow. <laughs> um, and it was like, I don't, I don't like clowns in general. I want nothing to do with this clown aesthetic. And it continues to be a horror trope. It's like, why can't you just not do the clowns? And then that one year where there were clowns literally out with knives on the side of a road, that was not cool. That was not cash money of the universe. Yeah, they were, and they were like appearing at schools. I have a, yeah. I had a co-worker at the funeral home. Uh, funny mm -hmm. enough, she was, she's actually in, she's actually in that, uh, I'll have to censor her name, Fabrizi. <laughs> she was actually in that, um, episode, that case with the clowns. She actually oh saw God. some. <laughs> I'm, I'm so fucking sorry. Also, there's a pink bunny rabbit? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm it to death. But yeah, no, I'm not- I'm not good with clowns, and usually anything- any kind of clown that comes up is usually, like, an uncanny creepy valley sort of, like, nastiness. Um, like, with- with Phoenix Wright stuff, they definitely made that to not be a friendly, friendly phase. They made that to be a creepy, creepy man. <laughs> Get out of here with that shit. I don't- I don't need no clown doctors. Oh god. Whatever the fuck he was. But yeah- Actually, I thought when you were talking about like how one of the uh, developer or uh, I wish I knew who it was. The arms but, I think it was the arms developer. But like that said that. Maybe it wasn't him, but he said like I have found a weakness. <laughs> yes. 
and it's like that that was like what i was trying to get to because and then i like lost track in the middle because it's like that's like the most fatal thing if you fucking dropped creepy clowns on us man we'd be fucked oh uh, wait wait i think 90 percent of the population was traumatized <laughs> Oh, if can't. if it only probably for them. Like the fact of that clown horse, you know the clown <laughs> horse. Clown was horse. Much. <laughs> and then fucking Itward. Like I already didn't like Itward's appearance, um, because I'm a, a terrifying weenie baby. Oh hey, that's a tiny tiny man. Hello. What you doing over there? A path appeared. Oh. Too narrow to get by. Let me go through. <laughs> oh come on! I'm like, oops. That was me. Oh okay. Wait, wait. I was like, what did I do? Let's bring it up. Oh right, right. we're supposed to smack people with it. <laughs> Duh. Wait. Is someone supposed to wield it, Coco? Oh. Okay. Come out a little farther. Oh. I. That I was just... really funny because it just looked like you left me behind. Why does this happen? This is so weird. Hmm. Uh... Oh, okay. Nothing like getting whacked by a hammer. <laughs> oh my god, these sprites are cute. This is darling. <laughs> I love it. Oh, Koru Buckle out. Forest. Okay, so we're finding that dude. Oh. Um, should I do this one? I haven't seen you around here. Uh, that's because we're from elsewhere. No fucking shit. <laughs> mm. You smell I like a human to me. Stench. I'd recognize that stench anywhere. Oh, yeah? Well, you smell like... Clown. I, mean, what's worse than... I was gonna say, what's worse than a human? A clown. Clowns are worse than humans, yes. Right. Whatever you say. I don't even know what a clown is. We're looking for Don Peregnon. Because of course you have to say it like that. Can you can you tell us where he is? Dunno. Why don't you go look for him yourself, you rude little bastard? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking. I love this. Bro, I'm not talking hair. to you. Go away. Why is he continuing? <laughs> Go away, sir. You're terrifying. Oh, this is a house. <laughs> Shrimp. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you know you're small, right? You know you're like little, right? Hello? Pot meat fucking kettle, I'm stuck <laughs> in a tree. <laughs> it's like Coco and, and I like both being like, uh -huh, you're short. <laughs> I mean, you are short. <laughs> you are sure. Yeah. Don Paragnon, uh, he's not here. I like how your girlfriend is distressed. <laughs> she was just running around, like, absolutely terrified. That was the best. <laughs> Go away, sir. Stop being a bastard, man. You're getting in the way of everything. <laughs> Don Perignon? I'm just gonna make everybody say it. No, Don Perignon? He's not here. <laughs> Could you tell us where he might be? Or if you know him? Or if it's a him at all? Don Perignon? He's not here. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly that. That's my reaction to this. These fucking tiny bastards. Leading us on. I was like, I was like, oh, I should get a drink while we record. And there, were, there was like a single <laughs> Coke can. I was like, no, I've already been weirdly very burpy on this series. And I was like, nah, <laughs> fuck it. I want soda. <laughs> <laughs> Don Perry. Genon. He's not here. Hey, wasn't there someone outside? Um... What do you mean? Wasn't there someone <laughs> outside? You mean the old fucking man who keeps being like, bap, 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 bap. We didn't- We oh, couldn't wait, no, find Don Perinon anywhere. That's because I'm right here, you assholes. 
You're a fucking dick, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, telling a guy who probably does not believe in God that he's not going to have a blast. <laughs> Bless you, Carly. Ah, oh. uh, but I was walking around at the time, so I wasn't in any single place. Oh my god, dude. Uh, <laughs> you're worse than the fairy in my brain. Something wrong? You seem a little perturbed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Siaf was dead. Ask gonna murk this dude. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and Worf was like, "Well, no, no, you get yeeted." <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh um, we need your tactical help. The Korobogo village in Rolante was invaded by mice, see? Uh, and we need a way to drive them out. That's the problem. Rolante, Rolante. Hmm, oh, I know. First, you need to find the Wind Spirit Jin. And then you need to get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> In the middle of the Rolante Mountain Zone, there's a cave called the Corridor of Wind. A very apt. When the Wind God statue turns in a different direction, the wind will shift and the way will open. Why are you named after our champagne, sir? The Wind Manistone <laughs> and Jin are somewhere at the end of the tunnel. Because we just leave that shit unlocked. <laughs> then go back to the garden with the sleep flowers. Use Jin's power to control the wind and spread the sleep pollen into Rolante Castle. That'll put the Navarre raiders to sleep. Retaking the castle should be a breeze, so to speak. You fucking bastard, you really did know all along. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think you can fool me? You're the ones that fairy chose. I can smell her fucking alcoholic breath. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> Besides, you stink like humans, and there's no Korobuckle village in Rolante. Okay? Don't fuck with me again. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't even bother with a pack of humans running through my village. But if the fairy is here, that means the world is in danger. It affects us, too. I'm not sorry I tricked you. I thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking good luck, though. He would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I deadass would have. <laughs> you would be dead right where you stand. Cracked in half by my fucking mace. How the fuck I get out of here, though? <laughs> Holy shit. Let me out of here. Rabbite forest. And now we're tiny, tiny forever. Oh, I'm, I'm good with that. These sprites <laughs> are adorable. <laughs> I like how conveniently we are we are very small. Just because we bought an old lady's hammer. <laughs> what if we got even smaller? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Apparently um... we're small forever. No, come <laughs> on. Hmm. I want to be even smaller. Uh, I don't remember okay. how this is undone. I think it's... I think Maybe it just, just wears off. Away, yeah. Fine. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had a feeling it was like that because it's like there's no way they would just let you walk around like this. The game's the game's not that fucking rude. <laughs> That'd Pretty be rude hilarious. sometimes. It's not that rude. I I wish it was. That would have been fucking horrifying. <laughs> this guy's called a rebellion. Is that what that, that fucking said? Yeah, they they're giving us a lot more exp. That's nice. Mm-hmm. There's still one in here somewhere, hiding. There you are! <laughs> you your outfit. Aww. <laughs> it's a very, very cute palette. There we go. Now he's destroyed. Oh, oh. hey. 
flap. We're gonna die. It's gonna be a monster chest. Aww. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I like how you're like disappointed now, even though you fucking were like, yeah, nope. I yeet. That that was instinct. That was pure instinct. <laughs> That's why that was fucking great. It was like there was no controlling it. It was just nope, off screen right now. Get out of here with that shit. My little Kirby walk, Jesus. <laughs> um... It really kills me because it's like I'm like a Kirby Gajinka even. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what are you, what are you thinking about? Uh, I was trying to remember how we got to the other city originally, but we did take a boat, a ship from Jad. Yeah, we did. Uh, Seahawks route is, I guess, more straightforward, like you were saying. So, I don't really have to travel at oop, as much. <clears throat> I'm almost coughing for some reason. That's say an item seed? Yeah. I was thinking, you know about like how you were talking about the burping thing? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, we both have been like that. Because I don't usually burp that much either from Sona, but I think because I'm talking a lot, I'm taking in a lot more air. You know what? That might be it. Stomach. That might be it. Like, even on accident? Where the fuck are we? Oh, there it is. Pretty sure this is the way we came, right? Yeah. I just heard a weird there noise. That's like snoring. <laughs> I'm... Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's getting dark, duh. I forgot they had the sleep cycle. And what's over mm. here? This is probably like a beach, yeah. Beach? Okay. Why is there a beach? Yeah, you'll find out. Oh god. Is there gonna be a romance scene? No, wait, no, you <laughs> said there's not really romance in this. If it was a romance scene between our current ship, then yes. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go straight to Palo? I'm sure it's fine. If we get our asses beat, we get our asses beat. I just I can't remember which is like the right city. The one that's next to Rolante. I think it was Palo, but... Hmm. Oh well, we have plenty of money. Yeah, it's not... It's not gonna hurt us that bad. Hmm. So there's this uh, game that Banks recently played. I, I don't know if I mentioned <laughs> it before. It's an FMV called uh, Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. And uh, FMV. I Full motion video, really? Yeah. She's played a huh. couple of those, yeah. She's really into them. And I huh. used to... I used to, like, not like them. Alright, yeah, this is the right place. I used to not like them, and I think it was a combination of, uh... Like, most of the ones I saw, I've, like, seen bits of not being uh, good ones, like... Like the one the Grumps played, you mean? Yeah, that one was one I saw that was bad, but even that one I'd, I, I would not, like, <laughs> consider the standard. It's just... Well, I don't know. Well, I'm not thinking of the... There there was one that was, like, the gross dating one, but then there was the yeah. other one that was, like... Uh, one that was, like, a legitimate game that was, like, figuring out a mystery in a town. Oh. I can't remember what it was, though. It was a long time ago. I think I missed that it one. It actually wasn't that channel. Maybe it wasn't even that channel, actually. Now I'm thinking about it. Because it's like, I used to watch a lot more different Let's Players. That could have been easily someone else. Yeah. But, like, one of the ones I remember being, like, one of the first was Phantasmagoria. And that really fucking disturbed me. What, what's Phantasmagoria about? Uh, like, I never saw the full thing. Like, I saw more a sort of a review of it. And it has a lot of, like, gory shit in it. You're essentially, like, stuck in this mansion and there are a lot of horror elements trying to get your way out. Like, you see a lot of people being murdered in really weird ways. Like, one woman is force fed dirt. That's bizarre. Yeah. I understand the concept. It's almost like, um... 
No, I can't say that because I haven't seen the film, but I, my dad told me about what Hostel was about, and I was like, really? Oh yeah, Hostel is a movie I will never, ever see. I can't, I can't yeah. do that, like, live well, action there was so torture much... porn. Yeah, like, there was so much of that during the, the 2000s, like the 2010s specifically, that was like, absolute, well, even the 2000s, that's just gore porn, and it was like, okay, um, you guys got, like, no other ideas or something? Oh, I'm almost dead. Lol. These zombies keep smacking me. Stop fucking thwapping me! Get out of here! Um, but then, like... Uh, there were a couple others. And I remember the first one I saw her play was... One that's really interesting called, uh... Mm -hmm. The Madness of Dr. Decker or something like that. And it's about this therapist that was recently murdered, and so you have to talk to a lot of his patients, and you just find okay. out about him and them and the weird things he did. And that one was super interesting, but it also wigged me out because basically all the patients are sitting on a couch staring directly at you, mm -hmm. and that just a that feels uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. But I've but listening to it is good. When usually, uh, especially mannerism wise, when people talk, they usually do look away eventually, which is why it's like if mm -hmm. they're monologuing directly into the camera, it's not technically as realistic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which yeah. is why you probably feel like uncomfortable. Oh. Mm, yeah. But I was surprised just because I forgot FMV existed, but the like the most of the time, aside from like that really weird dating one the Grumps did, most of the stuff I heard about it was like from dead systems. Like uh I think it was the laser disc that had full motion video, maybe? Like There seems to be a lot out on Steam. That's so odd. I didn't realize that that was such a like a wide genre. But the one I, the thing I really like about this one was it kind of had a welcome to the Night Vale feel since it was about radio talk uh, show hosts <clears throat> in a place called August mm -hmm. where weird shit was just, you know, the norm. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. an old lady has, you know, angels and shit. <laughs> it's fine. I'm trying so hard to remember Night Vale because one of my problems when I was listening to it at work uh, was that my brain was like, his voice is so soothing, I want to fall asleep! Because I'm doing full pat and listening to a very soothing voice, so it was like, oh no, I can't listen to this at work anymore. I never actually got the chance to listen to it, and I regret it. I probably probably will try and give it a shot, because I've, oh, I've only ever heard good things about it. Hmm? Um, I really, what I got to listen to about, like, up to, I really enjoyed. It was just that, uh, I, I stopped for a while and I can't remember if I, I don't think I got up to, like, what's the word? I don't think I got to, like, caught up, but I think it was more like, um, I just had to stop because something changed at work where I wasn't allowed to use my phone. Because at one point, uh... I worked with, like, all of the older people were, like, paranoid about using phones at work, which was annoying at the time. So, nobody was allowed to have their phones out, ever. It's very annoying. Especially since, when you're doing monotonous work, holy fucking shit, you just need mm -hmm. music to, like, stay awake. So... That's why Night Vale was bad, but music good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I forgot we had him. Die, birds. <laughs> Speaking of powers, hold on. I should probably at least heal myself, if not y'all. <clears throat> but, like, one of the reasons I brought yeah, it up... <laughs> huh? Oh, oops! I think I canceled my heal. Oops. Didn't take any MP, though. It's fine. Uh, what were you saying, though? Before we go on this? Oh, um, one of the reasons I bring that up is because watching it reminded me that a long time ago, my mom told me that <laughs> she thinks I would make a really good radio talk show host. And at the time, I was like, eh, nah, I don't know. I mean, it sounds kind of cool, but 
And I'm like, well, that's sort of what we're doing here, isn't it? Yeah, that is. And also, yeah, I'd agree with your mom. Oh, thank you. Okay, now, now let's bring out the gremlin again. <clears throat> huh? That ugly statue was here the last time. I guess it's safe to go now? I kind of feel like this is a trap. <laughs> Only bad feelings here. Oh, God, well, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you pushed the button. Uh, are we gonna fight something? Because I, I really should probably do something about probably. So, okay, so, yeah. Okay, heal myself and then heal y'all. When she jumps up, my brain goes. It's the Kirby theme every goddamn time. I'll edit it in there. I I still cannot unsee uh. Um, Papanga's uh, hair, like little hair wingies, as um, ears. So she just looks like a like a like a cat girl to me. <laughs> so funny. Uh, which direction? Even though first? he doesn't know it yet. Where should we go first? I don't. I oh, don't remember. Uh, left. Okay. <laughs> Yay, harpies! No, but yeah, like, Night Vale would recommend, especially if you- it, Basically, it's like, um... It's- it's very good at crafting its, uh, vibe, uh, through, um... Through its story. Like, it's just news report, right? But you get to, like, different bits and it's like, hmm, okay. Alright, I'm getting a picture now. Like... I think it's in the first episode that all the things that I'm I'm really remembering happen. Which is like... <sighs> Let's... I remember this is like one spot I don't like, because it's just so... Annoying? Um... Yeah, it's hard to find where you need to go. Do you want to look at a guide real quick? Nah, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's see if... Pushing these. <sighs> All right, that turns that. Oh, we're supposed to turn their faces. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I thought these were gonna, were gonna attack us, honestly. Because, you know, par for the cor- Wait, hold up. Um, they're blowing wind. Okay, I did yeah. not notice that effect before. <laughs> I was uh, just kind of like, yeah, they're here. Oh, Look God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> wind everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. And... Get over here. I want to smack you with my ultimate. I like how it says it misses, but the bird still reacts like I, fu <laughs> I fucking slapped it. You if, do it, it. If, it if it pops up here... Alright, good. I was gonna say, I don't want to fight in this area. <laughs> with this uh, wind. That would be not great. Alright, um... Let's check what's at this bottom area here. Nothing. Okay. Fortunate. Alright. When when it like pushed us along, my brain was like, I'm fast as fuck boy. <laughs> I'm a meme, and I was like, why? Of all times. Yeah, I hear devil boy. The Chibi Dibble is a really good design. Oh boy! Alright, nothing over there. I wanna fight the wind. <laughs> I remember there was a- uh, I think it was like a Disney movie, like just- like a- that they put on the channel and never, was never actually in theaters or anything, or even direct okay. or DVD, I don't think. It was like, about this girl who either her parents were divorced or like her mother recently died and her father remarried and there was a sister <laughs> from the other mother but like they were both aliens they were like bubble people who were afraid of the wind <laughs> i feel like i know exactly what you're talking about and i feel terrified because i i have no memory really of what that is but like 
Boy, that sounds really familiar. Hmm. Oh, wait, terrifying here. Like, honestly terrifying. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, can we get anywhere here? Huh. I think it's just gonna blow back at us right now. Uh, yeah. Hmm. But maybe the other one will switch too. Let's see. Nope, that's nope. still the same. But where will it take us? It might take us to the beginning. Let's see. I'm oh. thinking about that bubble thing too hard now, and I'm like, actually, because <laughs> there was also another Disney Channel movie that was kind of like weirdly sinister like that, but had to do with aliens as well, which was like an alien zoo where they like stole this kid. Ooh. Which was like, did we kill someone really back weird. here? Oh yeah, we did. Huh. Um, like, I swear to God, either they put, they, they also then eventually took his family or they took random humans and they're like, you guys will get along just fine. And they're just like a random other, like, parts of someone's family. Hello. He's stuck. <laughs> well. Alright, yeah, I think we did a circle, but at least, whoop. Alright, you, you're never gonna be Chrono, okay? That was pretty Chrono-like, though. <laughs> Jeez. Well, ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> Let's see what's down here. Did we go in a circle? Yeah, we did. Oh, it's just a dead end. Okay. Ah! At least they don't make you fall into the abyss. <laughs> oh god, that was so It feels like something an old RPG would do, though. Like... Come here, you. Fucking flying enemies. We need a break. <laughs> monster, 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 <laughs> monster blocks. We're okay. If I say it, it, it defo won't give me one, so. <laughs> it's just the, the law of the land. So while at work today, I was... <coughs> well then, I had, uh... Don't get tickets. Um... There you go. I, I knew it had to take a minute. Um... The, uh... So I had on uh, the last unicorn in the background while I was, like, filling boxes and stuff. And, um... And refiling things. Wait, is this a different door than the one we came out of the other time? No, I this think is the same. Cause if we, yeah, like, if we go to this, there'll be that one blocking our way. So oh, okay. Way. Gotcha. Um, so, the one thing I always really, like... I don't forget, <coughs> but it's like, I always forget the severity of the visual. Because this movie was made in the 1980s. Uh, 1982, I think, specifically. And um, there's some mild nudity in it for a children's film. And also a lot of yeah, violence, not like, people getting eaten, um, well, people. There was one person who got eaten by a thing. It's fine. She's- she's dead now, though. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not like she didn't deserve it in the movie. But, so, there's this harpy, because this is what- what really triggered my memory, is the harpies that are in this area. Um, and they make her super monstrous, like, she's de- like, definitely a monster. Oh, hey, I'm dying. Ten out of ten. Um, I can heal, but I don't think about it, so. <laughs> um, so, this harpy has three boobs, and they are exposed. They are saggy boobs. <laughs> and every time I see that scene, my brain's like, oh yeah, this was pretty bad, I forgot. Um, okay, let's see, what do I want? What did we upgrade last time? That's a better question. I think it was piety. So that's why it's grayed out, right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I might need some decks. Because I'm really low. Okay. What do you think? Go for it. Okay. Yay. Now I'm faster at dying. 
Um, anyway, but yeah, so that's why why I was thinking about uh, the harpy like thing. It was like the harpies are reminding me of that scene. Thankfully, these sprites are much cuter than the horrible harpy <laughs> in the last Reboot. unicorn. Another she, movie okay, I haven't seen. Her her design is wait what? Another movie I haven't seen. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, so as an adult, I don't know if, like, other people have seen the film and been like, why do you like this film? And it's like, because it's good? I don't know. I like it. Um, <laughs> but also, like, I really enjoy the animation, and it is something that's, it's not a nostalgia thing, it's just I really liked the movie still mm -hmm. uh, as an adult. So, like, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, hey, we're in jail. <laughs> Just where CF belongs, really. Um, but yeah, so like, mm. the, the Last Unicorn is like based off of a book um, that I still haven't read. I own a copy, though, um, by a guy named Peter S. Beagle. And like, it's about the titular Last Unicorn, but also several, like a couple other people and stuff. Um, and the, where the rest of the unicorns went, basically. Um, and in the movie, they get it. They get it pretty succinct. It's it's pretty pretty fun film, but like, there's also murder. Technically, I mean, she deserved to die, but like, you know. Yeah. Um, and so Angela Lansbury, you know, who is known as Mrs. Potts, and uh, if you ever watched, um, I'm trying to think of what that the uh, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street is a musical, right? And I think Disney and Tim Burton made it into a film a while back. Uh, anyway, she was the- the- I'm just hitting Aunt Air, goddammit, move. I forget to move, that's- that's the dumb thing. <laughs> nah, I do that sometimes, like, too. Um, um, but like... Hmm. So it's like, you have the sweet old lady that usually is doing, like, pretty normal performances, except for her Mrs. Lovett performance. Oh, hey. Plot. What's that? <clears throat> That's a monostone. Steel sealed inside it is a powerful being, the god beast. Soon it will be released from the stone and the world will return to darkness. We gotta stop that. <laughs> Car Carly, honey, you, you literally live in a church that probably talks about this. I'm so... They seriously, uh, but also, like, as CF, my brain is like, seriously, they just leave this thing out here? Like, <laughs> no, no guards, no, like, containment tape, nothing? Just out here, over a pit. Really. Yeah. You guys kind of wow. are dumb. I, I would think that this is your problem, not my problem. Oh, don't get me wrong. We'll do our best to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Thanks. find Jen. <laughs> he should be close by. Why? Why do I feel like whatever you're on is not the good shit? Oh, hey, honey, are you falling over there? What the fuck? Oh, okay. I was like scared that she was having a mental breakdown. <laughs> oh, there are footprints here. Maybe we should follow them. Uh, where's she, the she's mono actually statue? doing real work. <laughs> Maybe this way. <laughs> Did you say llama statue? Yeah, llama statue. Well, okay. There then. it is. I knew it was well, somewhere around statue. here. <laughs> oh, but you know what? We will go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you folks for joining us and see you next time. Goodbye.